Hello, how to solve for s in this equation 3 divided by s multiplied by 3 divided by s is equal to x divided by 3. Solution. Then here is 3 divided by s multiplied by 3 divided by s. 3 times 3, this is 9 divided by s times s s square is equal to x divided by c d and from here we can cross multiply that is my multiply by t d is equal to s square multiply by x and this is 9 times t d 27 is equal to s square multiplied by s. This is s to the power of 3. Then this can be written as s to the power of 3 minus 27 is equal to 0. And here we have s to the power of 3. 27 can be written as minus 3 to the power of 3 is equal to 0. Take note of this rule that if you have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, this is equal to a minus b bracket a square plus ab plus b square. Then where a is equal to x and b equal to 3. From here, we have s to the power of 3 minus 3 to the power of 3 is equal to s minus 3 bracket s square plus 3 multiplied by s plus 3 square equal to 0. Then here we have s minus 3 bracket bracket s square plus 3 multiplied by x this is 3x plus 3 square 9 is equal to 0 then there are two cases here the first case is s minus 3 is equal to 0 and here the second case is s square plus 3 s plus 9 is equal to 0. Then from here, s is equal to 3. This is the first value of s. From here, we can solve this using quadratic general formula because this is a quadratic equation. Our quadratic general formula is given as s is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2 a and from this equation a is equal to 1 b equal to 3 c equal to 9 then x is equal to minus bracket 3 plus or minus square root of 3 square minus 4 multiplied by a is 1 multiplied by c is 9 divided by 2 multiplied by a is 1 then s is equal to minus 3 plus or minus square root of 3 square that is 9 minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 9 that is 36 divided by 2 multiplied by 1 2 then s is equal to we have minus 3 plus or minus square root of 9 minus 36 that is minus 27 divided by 2 then s is equal to minus 3 plus or minus square root of minus 27 can be written as 9 multiplied by 3 multiplied by minus 1 
divided by 2. Then S is equal to minus 3 plus or minus square root of 9. That is 3. Then square root of minus 1. That is I root 3 divided by 2. And this is the second and third value of X. Therefore, our final answers are S1 is equal to 3. S2 is equal to minus 3 plus 3i root 3 divided by 2 and then S3 is equal to minus 3 minus 3i root 3 divided by 2. So we have two complex root. This is complex root and this is complex root. And we have this as the only real root, which is 3. We can check to confirm if this answer is right or wrong. Let's check. To check, we have the given equation 3 divided by s multiplied by 3 divided by s is equal to s divided by 3. At the end of this question, we're going to solve another one. Then let's consider this when s is equal to 3, the right hand side is equal to s divided by 3, which is equal to 3 divided by 3. Then this will cancel this, which is equal to 1. Then let's consider the left hand side. The left hand side, which is this, 3 divided by x multiplied by 3 divided by s is equal to 3 divided by 3 multiplied by 3 divided by 3, which is also equal to 1. Therefore, the left hand side, 1 is equal to the right hand side, 1, which is true. I hope you enjoyed the video. Now, we can solve this. Let's solve this. Call the second one. Two divided by s multiplied by two divided by s is equal to s divided by two. Let's try this. Now from here we have two times two. That is four divided by s times s. This is s square is equal to s divided by 2. We can cross multiply from here. Then 4 times 2 is equal to s square multiplied by x. Now this is 8 is equal to s to the power of 3. Then from here we have 8 minus s to the power of 3 is equal to 0. So we can write this as s to the power of 3 minus 8 is equal to 0. That is, if you divide all through by minus 1. So this is s to the power of 3 minus 8 is 2 to the power of 3 is equal to 0. Let's apply the same exponential rule. If you have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, this is equal to a minus b bracket a square plus a b plus b square is equal to zero then from here we have s minus two bracket a square this is a square plus three plus a b that is three plus a b that is two s plus b square that is 4 is equal to 0. Now we have two cases here. The first case is s minus 2 equal to 0 and the second case s square plus 2 s plus 4 is equal to 0. Now from the first case here s is equal to 2. Then also from the second case we use quadratic general formula s is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of 
b square minus 4ac divided by 2a and from this equation a equal to 1 b equal to 2c equal to 4 now s is equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of b square that is 2 square we have 4 minus 4 multiplied by a that is 1 multiplied by c 4 that is 16 divided by 2 multiplied by 1 2 then s is equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 minus 16 that is minus 12 divided by 2 then s is equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of minus 12 can be written as 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by minus 1 divided by 2 then s is equal to minus 2 plus or minus 2 i root 3 divided by 2 and this is equal to minus 2 divided by 2 plus or minus 2 i divided by 2 root 3 then this will cancel this these two will cancel this s is equal to minus 1 plus or minus root 3 i this is the other values of x therefore s1 is equal to 2 then s2 is equal to minus 1 plus root 3 i and then s3 is equal to minus 1 minus root 3 i